It's Friday night and it's a perfect time to order a pizza. Luckily for users, your skill can handle pizza ordering and delivery. Now, when you try to order a pizza, there are just so many variables. For example, you need to know the number of uh, toppings they would like or the base of the bread that they want and of course the address. Now with all these variables, a user could say a lot of different utterances. For example, a user could say something like Alexa, order a pizza with garlic bread base and a mushroom topping and deliver it to my house on 323 2nd street or say something like Alexa, order a mushroom pizza to my home or something like Alexa, order a pizza. Now, as a skill developer, how can you handle all these multiple utterances and use cases? Well, one of the ways to do that is Alexa's dialogue directives. Hello, my name is Karthik from Dabble Lab, and in this video, I'm going to walk through on using Alexa's dialogue directives. As usual, we are going to be using a skill from skilltemplates.com, which has a collection of templates for you to get started with Alexa development. So go ahead and sign up for a free account on skilltemplates.com. So let's get started. In our terminal, we are going to type in ask new template URL. And um, so here's the URL here, which is basically skilltemplates.com slash templates.json. And one thing that we are going to change for this particular tutorial is that we are also going to specify the template here. The name of this template is dialogue delegate starter Alexa. And once we do that, let's press and enter. And it would what this would do is initialize the Alexa skill project and clone it onto my local machine. Um, so now you can see that the skill has been created based on the chosen template. What we are going to do is go ahead and look at this, which would be the dialogue delegate starter Alexa. So now you can see this has been cloned into my local machine and you can see the code for this right here. But before we get into uh, the code let's go ahead and deploy this and the way to do this would be to type in ask deploy now what sorry uh, that would be ask deploy now what that would do is deploy the entire skill and the lambda functions onto my amazon developer account so i'm just going to fast forward here to the skill being actually deployed so now that the skill has been deployed let's go ahead and test it out so I'll go into my developer console here and you can see the dialogue delegate starter Alexa is here. So now once we go inside here, you can see here there is an intent by the name of fact intent and there is a slot called a city. So now before we go ahead and test it out, let's understand a bit about slots given the pizza example. Now in the pizza example, we had three slots. So for example, we had the toppings, we had the choice of bread and the address. Now what could happen is the user could say something like Alexa, order a mushroom pizza with roasted bread base to second street. And in, in an utterance like this, what's going to happen is that all your three slots, that is the toppings, the bread base and the address, all of them are filled out, right? Now the user could also say something like Alexa, order a mushroom pizza to second street. Now, what could happen due to this is uh, the topping, the toppings and the address slots are filled up. But what is not filled up is the choice of their bread base. Now, the one thing that the user could also do is something like Alexa, order a pizza. Now, what would happen is since this does not fill up any of the slots, what is going to happen is Alexa is going to say, OK, I can order a pizza for you. Which topping would you like? The user is going to say mushroom. Now, what bread would you like? The user would say roasted bread. Uh, where would you like to deliver it? The user would say second street. And in return, Alexa says something like thanks for placing your order. Now, if you look at this, what this makes sure is that the user has given all those three slots. All those three slots are filled before the success of a intent is triggered. Now in the same way, if a user, let's look at the second utterance where uh, something like the user says something like Alexa, order a mushroom pizza to second street. Now what would happen here is the Alexa SDK figures out that, hey, the user has not given me the bread choice. So what's going to happen is the user is going to say, what bread would you like? 
uh, sorry, the Alexa is going to say, what bread would you like? And the user would say, roasted bread. And then come to thanks for placing your order. And it wouldn't repeat the second street or mushroom because that has already been uh, covered by the user. So that's, that's how slots work and dialog directives work. So let's see this in action um, really here. And I'll just go here uh, to the test section. And I'm going to say something like Alexa open dialog delegate starter. Say tell me a fact to see the dialog delegate in action. So now it says that uh, tell me a fact. So that is how this thing works. Um, let's just say tell me a fact which is going to which is going to trigger the fact intent. So if I say that. Which city do you want to know the fact about? You can say London or Paris or New Delhi. So this is what is going to happen. It's when I say tell me a fact, it says that, okay, which city do you want to know the fact about? You can say London, Paris or New Delhi. The city is a slot in the, in the fact intent, right? So now let's just quickly say London. Here's a fact about London. Big Ben is arguably London's most famous landmark. Right. So as you can see that Alexa has just said the fact about London. And now let's just open this again and uh, let's see how it works when we pass the value by default. So let's say I asked. Say tell me a fact to see the dialogue delegate in action. Right. So I'm going to say something like tell me a fact about London. Now what's going to happen here is that I have filled in the city slot by default. So what's going to happen here is here's a fact there we about go. London. Big Ben is arguably London's most So there we go. What's going what's happened is the Alexa SDK figured out that the slot for city name has already been filled up. So it's not going to ask the same question again. It's directly going to get me the fact about London. So now that is how this entire dialogue directives work. So in case you have not filled up one of those slots, Alexa is going to ask you one of those questions like in this example here, right? But in case the user says something like, tell me a fact about city name, it's not going to wait for that slot and progress to the progress, progress to the successful code of the intent. So let's dive into the code here and understand how all of this works. So this is the code here for the dialogue delegate starter Alexa project and uh, what we are going to do here is open the index.js file and let's just open that up and now here what you can see is there is the fact intent handler and what we have done here is just written a code for just speaking out the fact about the city that the user has provided. So here's a fact about city. And what it does is it pulls out all the facts from the array here in the facts array. Now what happens is if the user does not fill a slot value, that is let's say the user says something like Alexa, tell me a fact. Now what Alexa would do is notice that the user has not filled a specific slot and it would ask the question which is which city do you want to know the fact about, right? now. What is responsible for that line of code here is this one, which is the in progress fact intent handler. Now this was not available in the version one of the SDK, but with version two of SDK, this is something new that has been come up here. So if I write a intent handler with the name in progress fact intent handler, what I could also do is request, check a request if the request intent name is same as the fact intent handler and also check if the dialogue state is not completed that means if the user has not given all the slot names right so in this case the dial the user has not given the city name here so we know that the dialogue state is not yet completed so all we are going to do here is just return the handler input and add delegate directive with the current intent so now what that does is if the the user would uh, Alexa would notice that hey the user has not yet given it uh, the name of the city so it's going to go back and ask the user for the city and once they have given the city name then what's going to happen is then the successful uh, fact intent handler code gets triggered so now that's how 
dialogue directives work. Simply put, what you need to understand here is that if the user has not completed their slots, just add this line and this intent handler here, which just keeps on asking the users the question until and unless their dialog is not completed. So that's all the code about um, dialog directive handlers and I hope this was very useful for you. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the Dabble Lab YouTube channel. And again, all of this code is available on skilltemplates.com. Thank you.